so um, i'd like to start off with msmes uh, the major challenge msmes face is of finance so they are, uh, the government has injected 70000 crores into the banking system that should help ease msme finance the uh, second thing is that they have strengthened nbfcs again nbfcs are very important because they do the last mile delivery to the msmes so strengthening the nbfcs should help msmes get finance the third thing they have done is they've set up the payment portal MSMEs face a lot of financial difficulties because of late payments by their buyers. The payment portal should help ease some of those issues. In terms of ease of doing business, um, one of the important steps they have taken is that they've reduced the number of GST returns from 3 to 1 per month. That will help uh, uh, ease the load of compliance and they've also made it quarterly for units below with turnovers below five crores the second thing which i think is very positive is though it's not directly related to msmes is that they have made pan and aadhaar substitutable for income tax now one of the things that we recommend from fiki for msmes is that you should basically have only the Aadhaar as the individual ide identifier and the GST and you should not need any more uh, you should not need any more identifiers any more reports any more cards so this is the first step I think towards phasing out the pan and we look forward to maybe getting rid of the pan the DIN the uh, IEC because these are all vestigial now with the electronic identifier like the Aadhaar and GST, we should slowly get rid of everything else. So this we think is a very good step in the, uh, you know, in a very positive direction. The other thing I would like to talk about, which I think is very significant and is not uh, receiving the kind of uh, attention that it deserves, is the scheme they have done to develop rural entrepreneurship rural entrepreneurship amongst women they have given 5000 rupees per uh, member of an SHG now Bangladesh you must be all familiar with what Muhammad Yunus did with microcredit in Bangladesh it essentially transformed the country because if the women run the business and they earn the money it is well established that the economy as a whole gets what is called a double dividend because women tend to spend on the health and education of their children. Today, if you see Bangladesh, its quality of life indicators are better than India, though its income is less, per capita income is less. That's because women are spending the money. And this was brought about by giving each woman 3,000 rupees loan. Now, this government has promised crores of rural women 5,000 rupees of loan. I hope we can see anything like that transformative effect. Uh, that Another recommendation Fiki gave to the MSME ministry was that we should try and create MSMEs in a few of the SHGs. So by promising a 1 lakh rupee loan to one woman, that enables her to set up a micro unit and that again can be transformative for rural uh, for the rural economy the step that needs to be taken is to connect these rural economies to the market now how do we connect them to the market in today's day it is e-commerce and the digital platforms which will be required to connect these women who can now produce things. Of course, they can sell within their own community, but to connect them to the urban areas and to connect them to the global market, we will need some kind of e-commerce. And I, I very much welcome the emphasis that the government is putting on crafts because crafts are our traditional MSMEs. India was one of the largest exporters in the world traditionally producing these crafts. The advantage of using crafts and creating a world focus on craft and craft based clusters is that one, you don't need too much skilling. These people already know what is required. 
two you don't need uh, so much capital investment because the tools and equipment is there and the third thing in this new age crafts have a very low carbon footprint so if you see if you produce a shirt using a normal factory technology you will need about 50 liters of water but if you produce it using khadi you may require two or three liters of water so i think this is a wonderful focus area that they picked and if we can reverse rural migration we can get livelihood out to the villages if this is properly pursued.